Earlier this week, Sir David Smith sat alone at Aussie's, the cafe inside Parliament House. The former official secretary to the Governor-General during the Whitlam dismissal on the 11th of November, 1975 is hardly recognised these days. Four to two years ago, in the middle of the political storm and on the steps of Old Parliament House, he read Governor-General Sir John Kerr's proclamation dissolving Parliament, finishing with the words, God save the Queen. Gorth Whitlam retorted, May well we say God save the Queen because nothing will save the Governor-General. The proclamation you have just heard read by the Governor-General's official secretary was countersigned Malcolm Fraser, who will undoubtedly go down in Australian history from Remembrance Day 1975 as Curse Kerr. The Governor-General had used the reserve powers to sack Labor Prime Minister Gorth Whitlam. It bitterly divided the country, with the rights and wrongs having been argued from the Parliament to the pub for decades. The current citizenship crisis looks like a storm in a teacup in comparison. But on the eve of the anniversary of the dismissal, Greens leader Richard D. I. Natale tried to elevate the contemporary issue to the same level. We know the Governor-General, when it comes to a constitutional crisis, has played a role in the past. We need to know what all the options are available to us in terms of bringing this issue to an urgent resolution, he said. Senator D. I. Natale copped a blast from Labour's Anthony Albanese as a result. He stands condemned for that suggestion, Mr. Albanese said. Richard D. I. Natale's supportuistic writing to the Governor-General will upset many of his supporters and all those Australians who understand that that action in 1975 was wrong and should never ever happen again. I don't want to see ever again the Governor-General's powers, reserved powers, be abused like they were in 1975, he added. Senator D. I. Natale has been unavailable for comment. Probably wise. Copyright 9 Digital Proprietary Limited 2017